Ian from Easy Genie getting ready to send out the next newsletter. This one is an interesting one. It's about a 2003 road trip my father and I made out to Arizona to visit my Aunt Catherine, who was then 96, and it was a genealogy road trip. It's an opportunity to talk with her and have some nice conversations with her about her, her own family and her own history. And importantly, uh, she had a huge collection of photos like this old tintype. And in many of them, she was able to identify the people in them, including some, some people who are going back like, you know, four, four or five generations from, from my generation. So this is really interesting to me. And she had a lot of kind of, some, some stories were pretty sad, but uh, some were pretty, ha were, you know, she, she had some good times too. And this is one of my favorite photos of her with one of her pals in the 1920s, kind of like proto-flapper. Um, some of the other items in the newsletter, kind of an interesting DNA study about the first people to the Faroe Islands in Norway. Uh, they, weren't Nor they weren't Vikings. What else do we have here? Oh, kind of just a, a link to some of the exhibitors at Roots Tech. Uh, we're not going this year, but we did attend three or four years ago. It was a fantastic conference, and this, this year's conference looks pretty good. And then uh, some videos that I've created. This one was about typing other languages into genealogy PDFs, and I, actually I've shared that video before. Uh, this is an interesting story. When, when people in America were interested in having pet squirrels, this is a famous photo, a famous uh, portrait. I've seen this in the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Uh, the the uh, painter is Copley, and he you can I don't know if you can see it that well, but. Uh, it, it shows a teenage boy and his pet squirrel who's on a little string, and it's a very it's a very endearing uh, portrait, one of the finest American artists from that from that era. This is a kind of pre-revolutionary war, and then another video: Why don't trust ethnicity estimates? And this is about an experience that I had with Twenty Three and Me, showing uh, ethnicity for a group of people that were later kind of erased from my ethnicity estimates when 23andMe updated their uh, reference population. So that's in the newsletter this this week. If you're interested in getting the Easy Genie newsletter, it goes out usually once every four or five days. Um, they're really, you know, it's kind of a high quality collection of stories and observations, tips about genealogy and other things. And if you go to the link in the bio, uh, you can learn more information about it. Thank you.